What can you tell us about it for those that haven't seen it? Yet? Oh man, I can tell you that it's uh, the most fun thing that I've ever been involved in acting in. I think it's an incredible movie and uh, I think it's, uh, it's as scary as can be. I think it's really uh, going to be a really fun, scary movie for people. I'm really excited to watch it with an audience tonight. I uh, haven't seen it yet, like in a theater with an audience. And uh, I'm just really proud of it. I think it's a really, uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't wait to, for people to see it. Yeah, well, and what's scarier than home invasion? Yeah, I know, right? I know. It is kind of one of those things. A home is the safe space. The idea of people coming in is not cool. <laughs> so uh, so you've, you're actually at, at, at several notable horror credits. So, so uh, I, you having the, the authority to, to talk about what's a, what's a good horror film, I... I think you would know. Yeah, I, well, absolutely. It's been really fun. I mean, I'm a, I'm a director, too, and the films that I make are very much not horror movies. It's been really fun, actually, over the last couple of years to be involved in VHS and, and A Horrible Way to Die and be working with Adam and Simon. And, uh, yeah, I've gotten to know what's scary over the last couple of years, too. I think uh, Adam, and, Adam and Simon and uh, Ty West, who's also in this movie, these guys are the new generation of horror. I mean, this is... Uh, these are going to be legendary directors. It's really exciting for me to get to work with these guys early in their careers. These are, these guys are going to be the equivalent of, of you know, Wes Craven and a lot of these just like masters of horror. And uh, it's just really fun to be sort of at the forefront in the beginning of that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, last thing, are you going to get to do anything Austin-centric, any South by Southwest kind of Well, fun? actually, I have a movie. I, a movie I directed is in the festival called Drinking Buddies with yeah. Olivia Wilde and Jake Johnson. And so... Uh, I've been having a very awesome South by Southwest this year because I'm getting to kind of like move back and forth between uh, director Joe and actor Joe. And uh, yeah, it's just been really incredible. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of, of craft beer. That's what I've been doing. I'm, you know, I mean, I, yeah, I'm a home brewer. I'm a, I'm a big beer guy. So uh, every free moment I have, I'm trying to, to check out different local breweries and uh, do that. Are you uh, excited to watch the audience get a little scared there? Yeah, I am. We were really fortunate to get to play it in Austin before at Fantastic Fest, and I got to be here for that. That was the first time I saw it, and I make a lot of independent films, and they usually don't make people feel very good at the end. So making a film that people can have fun with was really exciting, and I had no idea uh, that we had made a movie that was fun, you know? Because when you're in long hours in independent film, none of it's fun to you while you're doing it. But yeah, when the audience responded so positively, then to have the opportunity to come back to Austin again, we're sort of ramping up, getting ready to put it out. It was, it's really exciting. It's kind of like coming home. Yeah. Well, plus this is, uh, as Joe was saying, this is the next generation of great horror filmmakers. So it's kind of a cool little community you guys have. Thank you for saying that about my friends. Yeah, it's, it's funny. We all came up together, and we've been making small movies together for years on our own. So... It's been a, a bit of an out-of-body experience to get to see my friends um, applauded the way that I think that they should be because they're really good at their jobs and it's nice to get to watch them and to get to be fans of them because I am um, and to get to watch people experience sort of like especially with like Simon and Adam their narrative voice um, it speaks to a larger crowd and I like that it's nice to see people seeing their stuff now that means that they can't hire me anymore because the budgets get too big. But <laughs> well, last thing, are you going to get to do anything South by Southwest centric, any kind of good barbecue or anything fun around town? I spend about half of my time when I'm not in L.A. and Austin. I actually just shot a movie here. Um, so, yes, the first thing I did was hit barbecue, and I'm assuming that it will happen sometime tomorrow afternoon. I don't get to stay through the music portion this time uh, like I like to, but a lot of us are with this group are really fortunate to have a couple of, or a few movies here or have friends that have movies here, so I think we have to do the friendship thing and, and catch their films. <laughs> well, uh, we're really excited about this film, and, and it's uh, although it's had its uh, Austin debut, we're happy to see it here at South by Southwest, and it's going to scare the hell out of everybody. Are you excited to see I that happen? I hope so. I hope that that's the, the result. I, I saw it here uh, you know, a couple years ago at Fantastic Fest, and uh, people seem to like it, so... I'm excited to see it again. It's been a long time, and I just had such a great time uh, with the cast and the crew making it, and, and just particularly the cast. It, it, the, you know, it's a family movie in some ways until it all goes haywire, and uh, just haven't seen those people in a long time. So getting to see them on the screen, you know, it was 
maybe we'll, we'll ease that a little bit for the moment. Yeah. Are you a big horror movie fan yourself? Yeah, I mean, my, really, uh, I'm a, a rabid, acolytic Stephen King fan. Like, I was reading Stephen King in sixth grade, and everybody was really concerned about it. Yeah, me too. So it's good, man. I, I, I do like horror movies, and I think that, that um, you know, Adam and, and Simon and the... Keith uh, Calder and Jessica Wu are producers, and and now and now Lionsgate really has uh, has you know validated it I think in a in a big way by um, uh, you know wanting a lot of people to see this movie. So just just hope people like it and people think it's scary and that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for.